The Israelites placed over their doors a signature of blood. This was to show that they were God's property. So the children of God in this age will bear the signature God has appointed. They will place themselves in harmony with God's holy law. A mark is placed upon every one of God's people, just as a mark was placed over the doorposts of the Hebrews. Understand today that the Bible is quite clear when it comes to Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 20. This is what the word says. Hallow my Sabbaths, and there shall be a sign between me and you, that ye may know that I am the Lord your God. Understand that every soul in our world is the Lord's property, by creation and by redemption. A God created us in his own image, in his own likeness. A God loves us, but then sin entered into the world. And sin is a separation uh, between God and us. Uh, but Christ did not leave us there. Uh, Christ came in search of us. Hence, Christ redeemed us uh, to himself. And now there is hope. There is hope uh, for you and there is hope for me. Because we have a Savior, we have a Redeemer, and we have a Lord. Uh, uh, you might be wondering how uh, He can redeem you uh, from your sins. I want you to know that Christ could redeem anyone who wants redemption. He can save anyone who wants to be saved. And in order for Him to redeem us, all we have to do is open the heart uh, to Him. Let us open the door uh, to our hearts and allow Jesus uh, to come in. The Bible says in Revelation 3.20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man uh, will hear my voice and will open the door, I will come into him and sup with him and he with me. Why not open yet the door to your heart uh, this morning? Let us trust in God's word and the power in God's word. Father in heaven, we just pray that you will grant us the strength to open our hearts and allow Jesus to come in. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.